everybody it's Wendy and today I'm going to do a finished jewelry update now this is not just bargain bead box this is everything <laughs> that I've been doing in the last few weeks that I haven't shown because it's been so so busy here um, with moving and just craziness and all that so um, I'm gonna show you stuff from the last bargain bead box I'm gonna show you stuff from Sam's bead box I'm gonna show you stuff from the current bargain bead box um, and honestly, last month's bargain bead box, I don't even ha know where the rest of it is. So I don't know how much I used out of it. I don't know because we moved right in the middle of all that. So just be patient. I'm sorry. I'll get it together this month and get back on track like I should be, but it's been a little bit crazy. Um, so anyway, I'm going to start with this month's bargain bead box because I had this much left. Now, I could have gone ahead and done um, another bracelet or earrings or something with these pearls, but I just ran out of time, and, um, you know, I just I just ran out of time. So, this is what I had left from this month's Bargain Bee box. Not a whole lot, um, but I'll be honest with you guys. Usually, I do jewelry tutorials on everything I make from the Bargain Bee box, but I'm going to tell you, I had a hard time with the box this month. <laughs> um, and I will tell you why, but I just, I really, really struggled with it. So I didn't do tutorials because I started to, and then I would mess the thing, you know, the thing would get messed up. It wouldn't work as planned. And I just really had a hard time with this month's box. So let me get the first um, set up here on the form and I'll explain more about that here in a second. Okay, so here's the first set that I did. Um, I can't remember if I did a tutorial on this or not. <laughs> I think I tried to and it didn't work out. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I really, really struggled with this month's box. And the reason for that is I felt like they had a lot of tiny whole beads in the box, okay, and no way to use them. Like the head pins they provided were so short that you couldn't put very many beads on them um, and the beads the holes in them were so tiny that they didn't fit on any normal head pins um, it I just really struggled I don't know I got started with things and then I would find that you know the beads wouldn't fit on what I needed them to fit on and it just I had a hard time so I did make this set so this is the donut that was in the box this month these are these chandelier findings they actually have these on their site right now, and I went back and ordered more of these chandelier findings. I really did like these. Um, these beads were beautiful, so, you know, I strung this on leather. This is one millimeter leather. Um, just knotted it together here, put these beads on, and made a multi-strand effect here with the chain. Um, I actually made these earrings. These could go with a lot of the different things in this box. They don't have to go with this one, but... I like them with this one just because they have the matching chandelier finding. So these are the tiny little rondelles. These were just earring hoops that I have. And um, like I said, I had a hard time finding anything to string these on except for tiger tail. Tiger tail was it. I mean, for these, for the potato pearls in the box, um, for just about everything. Um, if you didn't have the teeny thin um, head pins, then tiger tail was it. And so... You know, I don't use a whole lot of tiger tail, so I was kind of really just struggling. I had a hard time. But um, I thought these turned out really cute, and they look pretty good with this necklace. Um, so that is my first set that I got out of this month's box. Um, and like I said, it um, I like this set, but man, I had a hard time this month. It just was really tough. I had lots of ideas, but the things that I tried to do just didn't work out. So, um but that one I felt like was pretty successful. Now, here's another earring that I made. And I can't find the mate to it. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you the ear, this one that I've got. Again, this is an earring hoop. I just hung this big medallion piece um, on here. I really like this pair too. Um, but like I said, I can't find the mate to it. It's here somewhere. I don't know if I've dropped it, if it's fallen in a drawer, if it's under something. I have no idea. But eventually I will find it. And yeah. So this is another um, set that could be used with any, I mean, it would go with this or it would go with some of the things I'm going to show you here in a minute. So that is one, uh, set and a half an earring <laughs> and I'll be right back with the next. 
Okay, so here is the next set um, that I did, and I like this set really well. It turned out good, but as you can see, this is very similar to the last necklace I had, again, because you had to use tiger tail for these pearls. There's nothing else that they would fit on. Um, so, you know, I was kind of limited, I felt like, because of that, because the holes were so small, and the last few boxes they've done have had beads with the holes that are just ridiculously small. I don't understand, you know, what's going on there, but yeah, it was frustrating. Um, and so then these little components here, they didn't have any way to hang them unless you took your beading all and poked a hole. And I think I actually did manage to get a tutorial out on this necklace. Not sure if I did on the bracelet or not, but here's the bracelet. I think it turned out really pretty. It's It's got a lot of the dangles on it and these you know, I took my beading all and punched holes in these so that I could get a jump ring through them um, and hung them here. So there's this one. And then, of course, the necklace, you can see, has the big medallion at the bottom. Let me move the camera down here a bit. Big medallion there at the bottom. And then um, the pearls and the smaller medallions, I've used them up in the necklace. And then the earrings here are just very simple. Um, and the necklace goes, you know, all the way up there until you see the chain at the top. So I felt like this one turned out really well. It's pretty, um, I like it, but it was just very difficult, um, to get the components to work together. So, um, but if, unless you use tiger tail, which I did, so it worked out good. Um, and I think this one turned out really pretty. I, I probably will keep this set. Um, just because I like the pearls with this. I think these medallions were absolutely beautiful. So I did order more. They actually had these on their site too. They had these on their site too, but I didn't order any more of those. I don't want any more of those if you have to take your thing and poke, poke holes in them. No, thank you. So, but I thought this, this set turned out really good. Let me grab the next one. Okay, so this is the next set that I did. Um, so this, this I did manage to get a tutorial out on. This is a bracelet. Um, it's got... The butterflies that they had in the box this month which I thought were gorgeous don't get me wrong I loved the things that were in the box this month I just felt like they were very difficult to use together um, but this one um, I just made an adjustable clasp with the leather there is a tutorial on this I will link them in the description box below these butterflies were from my own stash and I think some of these beads were as well so Oh gosh, I'm not on camera. I'm so sorry. Um, so here it is. Like I said, it's got the adjustable, um, the adjustable clasp with the leather, and here are all the butterflies and butterfly beads. Um, so this one turned out really well. I like it. And then here are the earrings that go with this one. So very. Um, very pretty and dainty and I did like the antique bronze in the box this month but I had to substitute with a lot of my own stuff these are my own beads here uh, these bigger ones the butterflies these were my own um, just you know the leather was my own so I don't know but and normally guys you know I'm all about bargain bead box so I don't know why I had such a struggle this month but and I don't think it was due to the move because I've created a bunch of other stuff from other boxes. <laughs> so I don't know. But anyway, that set, that's that one. Hold on, I'll grab the next one. Okay, so this is the next set. So this is the moon component that they had in the box this month. And these, these were beautiful beads. Um, I think I ordered some more of them. They had them on their website as well. And the moon component too. I liked it really well. So this was an easy one. Um, compared to the others because these beads, you know, were regular size holes. I strung them on this antique bronze beading chain. This is on my website if you're interested in that. Um, and so this one I feel like turned out really good. I did the earrings, just very simple, um, you know, head pins, just strung them up real simple. I didn't want anything too, uh, too complex there because I felt like that the moon you know, alone was really pretty, and I didn't want the earrings to have too much going on. If I would have had some um, moons in antique bronze, I probably would have used them. They'd have been really pretty, especially like on a dangle there, but I didn't. So I just stuck with what I had, and and this, uh, I think it turned out pretty good. So this is the next set, and that is everything that I got out of the Bargain Bead Box this month. So that is... 
like three necklaces, a bracelet, and like four pairs of earrings, which is still really good, but not as much as I normally get out of the bargain bead box. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you um, some stuff from last month's bargain bead box. Hold on just a second. Okay, so here's the next set. Now this one is from last month's bargain bead box, which was March. Um, this Celtic um, theme, and so this is the earrings here. These are the earrings here. And I just used these little hoops. I believe they're on my website, or I don't know, maybe the, I think they are. The hoops are on my website. These little ones, not the big ones I showed you before. Um, but yeah, and so are the little ball posts there. I have those as well. But um, these I thought turned out pretty good. And then here is the matching bracelet. So um, I ended up doing a double strand on one side with a toggle and a single strand on the other. There you have that. And I pulled some beads from my own stash. These are from my own stash. And this has got a little bit of glue on it that I need to pick off. But I glued this. Um, that'll come off. I glued this piece onto this agate piece. I didn't really care for these discs. And I felt like they um, were, they didn't match. Like unless you glued something over them, I, mine didn't match. So <laughs> I kind of had to do that. But this I think turned out really good. That was easy to glue on there. And then here's the necklace. So the necklace was, again, fairly simple to make. I, I glued this one on this side and this one on the other side because I didn't have enough of these to do both sides. Um, and I just wanted something on that other side in case it spins. But, um, yeah, I thought this one turned out really good. Um, I like the green. I think it's really pretty. The green and silver was beautiful together. And so this is a three-piece set from last month's box again. So that would have been the May, or I'm sorry, March box. Okay, so hold on and I'll grab the next piece. Okay, so this is the next one. This is a really, really long Y-shaped necklace. Um, and I didn't use all products. This was from my own stash. Of course, this was made with the products from the Bargain Bead Box. So, um... All the beads, I think, were from the Bargain Bead Box. It's been a while since I did it. It's a Y shape, and there is a tutorial on this one, I believe, up on my YouTube channel. So if you want to see this, how to make it, um, there is a tutorial. But I like the long Y shaped. I thought that was really kind of cool and um, different. And so, yeah, that's this one. And again, this is from the March edition of the Bargain Bead Box. And I'm sorry, it's just so long, it's hard to get <laughs> on film. So let me grab the next one. Okay, so here's the next necklace, and I believe I do have a tutorial on this one as well. If I do, I'll link them in the description box below. This is using products from Sam's Bead Box and Bargain Bead Box, both. Um, so that's what these are, and I thought this one turned out really pretty. Um, the Coriana chain here is available on my site if you're interested in that. And then here are the earrings for this one. So they're just very simple. Um, I'm trying to get my lighting right. I'm having trouble with this lighting today. Very simple earrings, um, but I thought these looked really well together, and um, I like this set. I thought it turned out well. So again, these leaves, I believe, were from Sam's Bead Box, and then everything else pretty much was Bargain Bead Box. I think I pulled some of these things from my own stash, or maybe these were from Sam's Box as well. I can't remember. It's been so long since I made this stuff, and... Um, like I said, we moved, so it's just been crazy, but <laughs> um, I'll get it back together here this month, hopefully. So let me pull out the next set. Okay, so this one I absolutely loved. Um, this one is made with products mainly from the Sam's Bead Box last month, which would have been the March box, and I loved this necklace. I thought this turned out so pretty. Um, yeah, just beautiful. He has beautiful products in his boxes um, I do have a $5 off coupon if you're interested in subscribing to him, his box. Um, it's just gorgeous. And he has really high quality, awesome things in there. So this necklace I thought turned out beautiful. I really liked it. Um, and again, this one's from Sam's, the products using Sam's bead box. So there is that one. Let me grab the next one. Okay, this is another necklace using products from Sam's Bead Box, but it's this month's edition, the April edition. And um, I love these potato pearls so much that I actually ordered some more. The bird beads were from my own stash. Um, 
and we made the nest. I have a tutorial for this one. If you're interested, I will link it in the description box below, but I really like this. I thought this turned out really pretty and would be a sweet gift for a mother for Mother's Day. This little nest with the eggs in there, and then you've got your mother bird charm. These are on my website. This is from Sam's Box, and he actually had two smaller ones in there that I'm going to make earrings to go with this, but I haven't done that yet. So this, again, mainly from Sam's Bead Box. Okay, so let me get the next one out. Okay, so this set is from the Jesse James Magical Mystery Bead Box. Um, it was the Pantone Classics edition, and um, this is, I believe, April's Box. Yes think April's box um, I'm getting confused at this point but um, this one um, I just I love this I thought this turned out really pretty the Jesse James beads are just beautiful these are like little shell pieces that box was gorgeous I mean I just I didn't have any trouble working out of it it was so pretty so um, this is from the Jesse James Magical Mystery Bead Box Pantone Classics Edition. Um, I'll have a link in the description box below for it too if you're interested in subscribing. Um, you can do that and I think this is just a beautiful, beautiful box. I loved all the components in this and everything on here was from the box, from that box except for the chain, the Coriana chain, but everything else was from the box. So just a beautiful set. All right, let me grab the next one. Okay, so this one is using Jesse James beads. This is using their Earth Day collection. This is the Earth collection from their Earth Day or Earth Week boxes. Um, so I did a video tutorial on their Facebook page for this necklace. Um, I'll link it in the description box below. But I thought this one turned out really pretty. I just loved it. These Earth beads were so beautiful. Um, these are recycled glass. A lot of them were from Africa. Um, just absolutely beautiful beads. There was this one lady that kept commenting on the tassel on there. She kept saying that um, it looked like a wad of knots and it looked like her leftover Kumi Homo knots. And I thought she was so rude. I mean, really, you know, you got to get on there and do that. These tassels are super popular right now with the fairy silk and the chain. Um, but nobody really responded to her. I think she was just trying to get a rise out of somebody. But they didn't respond, but anyway, um, I thought this turned out great. I like the tassel, of course. You guys know I like tassels, and the fluffier, the better. So, she didn't bother me any, because I thought it was really pretty. <laughs> um, but, you know, yeah, people are funny. They say things online they would never say, say in person to you. So, you know, nobody would just walk up and say that to you. That's so rude. Um, but anyway, I enjoyed the beads out of this earth mix so much. They were so pretty. Um, they had these little, let me get it around here, little tree of life beads in there. These are coconut beads right here. These were Dakota stone. Um, just beautiful. Jesse James crystal beads. This is rolled leather. So I really, really like this necklace. Um, enjoyed working with that totally. So I'll put a link if you want to watch that tutorial. And let me grab the next one. Okay, this set is from Sam's Bead Box as well. All the beads on here, except for, I think, these gold spacer beads were from Sam's. Um, this is one millimeter leather that I got from um, Antique Cord on Etsy. I'll link all that in the description box below. I did do a tutorial for this one, but for some reason my camera quit recording <laughs> right in the middle of my necklace. So, yeah, it, it wasn't so successful of a recording, but... Um, these beads are just beautiful. I love these potato pearls. I actually ordered more. And these little um, heart pieces with the rose in them are just, just beautiful. What a pretty little set uh, for your mother for Mother's Day or, you know, just anybody, really. It's really beautiful. But I really like the way this one turned out. And again, these are from Sam's Bead Box. I'll put a link in the description box below. I do have a coupon code for $2 off if you want to subscribe to his box. Really pretty stuff. And hang on, I will grab the next one. Okay, so this one I just uploaded a tutorial for today, and I love the way this one turned out. This, These beads, again, are from Sam's Bead Box, as well as a bunch of these. Um, this tree is on my website if you're interested in it. Not with, it doesn't have the crystals, it's just the base. But I glued the crystals on. But And these spacer beads are on my website too. But I love these Tree of Life beads. I think they are so pretty. Sam's has them now. I think they're $8.95 a strand. And um, then this leather, it's an ice blue color. So pretty. 
Again, um, this was from Antique Court on Etsy. So I really like this set. This turned out really good. And again, I just uploaded the tutorial for it this morning or here just a few minutes ago, actually. So um, I'll link that in the description box below, but I really like this one. And I have three purse charms and that's it. So hold on just a second. Okay, so I've got these three purse charms that I actually made um, for a commission. These are made for, somebody commissioned me to make these is what I'm trying to say. So she wanted really blingy, she wanted jewel tones, so I thought this one turned out beautiful. <laughs> I love these. It's got the lobster claw at the top, the key ring, we've got a little butterfly in jewel tones, and all these beautiful jewel tone colored beads. Very sparkly very pretty. I don't have anything to hang it on, but there it is. <laughs> um, just really, really pretty. And I'm having, I don't know what the issue is with my lighting today, but it's just really having a hard time. So there it is. This one's really pretty. That's the jewel tone one that she wanted. And then she wanted a pink one. So here's the pink one. I hear the mail outside, the mail truck. <laughs> yep. I think that's the mail or maybe it's the school bus. I think it's the mail. So here's the pink one. It's got a big gigantic crystal heart at the bottom. Big Jesse James beads on here, some of them. Some of them are just regular, you know, lamp worked and different colors. Here's some hearts, a heart lamp worked bead here. And we've got the little heart keychain topper or keychain ring and your lobster clasp. So I love these. I think they're so pretty. This one turned out really good. You can't really see that crystal dangle. There it is. So that's the pink one. And then she wanted silver and white, like pearl silver and white. So that's this one. Let's see if I can get it. Um, so this one has the tree of life. It's got a big lampwork foil bead. Um, all kinds of just dangly beautifulness and the sun, big sun at the bottom. Um, so I thought this one turned out really pretty as well. Really sparkly. Um, and these kits are up on my website, too, if you're interested in, um, I did a, tu a tutorial on these, but then I have the kits on the site. So if you're interested in purchasing the kit to make these purse charms, it comes with everything you need except for the wire and your jump rings and stuff. But everything else, like all the beads, the key ring, the lobster, the charms, everything else is in there. So yeah, if you're interested in that, I'll link it in the description box below my website. And that's it, guys. That's everything for my finished jewelry right now. Um, I'm getting ready to do a tutorial on resin bezels, filling open bezels with resin. So that'll be kind of fun. So um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell button, and that way it will up, it will uh, notify you when I upload. Otherwise, you're not going to know. Um, and yeah, I uh, will see you guys in the next video. Bye.